yo yo what is up y'all man welcome back to the channel i don't even have to explain this video this lineup is going to speak for itself i mean you see the title just look what they are running shooting guard lie down small four lie down and a sharp shooting ram one of the most toxic lineups i've ever seen if i've ever seen one bro I don't really like the word toxic, but it's just so ubiquitous in the 2K community that I just use it anyway because, I mean, uh, it describes, I mean, it's a pretty good word to describe. I just think it's used, overused, and it's used out of context so much that I just don't like using it. But, I mean, I'm, I'm still going to use it because, I mean, it's familiar with you guys. I'm just going to use what you guys are probably familiar with. It's toxic lineup. But <sighs> my key to beating lineups like this, bro, it's just play, be yourself. Don't let the lockdown or the archetype determine the way you play. I always feel like the first possession is always some bullshit playing against a lot of like this because you just can't fall down to teams like this. But it's always that first possession that counts the most, and we didn't get that bucket on the first possession. We had to force up a shot from half court, then get the rebound. But as long as you play good defense and you have a legit, legitimate big man, a big man who doesn't get his skill taken away by – the three being a lockdown, you can win the game. It flows through the big man and the point guard making smart pass, and you will see that from Los. Los will, and he's, me and him are used to playing together, playing against lockdowns, and playing against, you know, teams that reach a lot. And you just have to have that chemistry to know when and when not to pass the ball. I don't know Lou Banger that well. I met him in the park uh, one day, and we just ran. We've been running for a little bit, but we don't run anymore because – that's another story, but this nigga got all hostile one game because you will see why I got – I said what I said, but he got a hostile one game because he was jacking up telegraph threes. And I was like, hey, bro. I, I said it in, like, the nicest way, too. I was like, bro, that shit's telegraph. I literally just said those words. And he just got on that bitch talking all types of raw, raw shit. So I was like, oh, well, you know, we playing with your ass again since you want to be like that. But – yeah, he's a scratch forward. I haven't been playing with him that much. But he's doing his little thing right now. I'm getting rebounds. Just playing big man basketball. How you got to play. It was, it's 8-0. We're kind of breaking the lineup. I go for the fucking steal. And I, of course, I give up the first bucket. That's why I don't go for steals. But look how it went straight through my hand. Like, my dude just got the, like, the delay reaction. Just knowing damn well I pressed square like right on time. But moving on. It's only it's 8-2. We pretty much have him beat already. But you can never be... Uh, up ahead too much on a lockdown, a team full of lockdowns. So he could have just got robbed right there. This nigga just went. <laughs> he just went fucking, I don't know, mode with his fucking takeover on. That nigga just thought he was going to make everything and started jacking shit. I got the steal right back. I don't know why, but like when I play lockdowns, my, at least like my defense gets boosted along with him. I start playing kind of like, he's looking at that shit. Shot that one from half court. I don't know if he thought the takeover was gonna make him make that bitch, but he's not a pure scratch, so I don't even know if he has Hall of Fame. Uh, I don't, I don't think he has Hall of Fame uh, limitless range. Or well, I don't think scratches get that shit anywhere. They don't only get it on gold. But I got the steal back, and this boy is just great Kobe mode right now. <laughs> boy is in straight Kobe mode. Straight clanking that hoe. But they still can't really find any offense, bro. Me and Los just always say, bro, just guard them. Just play defense on them. They stop you from scoring. You score. You just stop them from scoring. Because I don't. I, you know, sharp. Ain't no rim protector finna be out there, bitch, bullying me. I don't give a fuck. Like, no, no, sir. I'm gonna have to earn they buckets. Not getting any rebounds. I don't know what build that like, people gonna have to make to get rebounds over me, bro. But that you gonna have to have like one of those glass cleaners that are like. I don't want to say glass cleaners are ass, which I, I still think that I still. I, I'm not. I'm not even just. It's not limited to, like, my, my them playing against my build. Like, I just think it in general, like, against any build. Like, I, that's just my opinion. It's not a fact. I'm not saying that's the that's the definite when speaking about glass. Gunners. That's just my opinion, dog. That's just literally my opinion, so don't take it the wrong way. But I don't know what build is going to out-rebound me. Like, I've ran into so many glass cleaners, like, high overall, high rep, and they just can't out-rebound me. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just I'm just looking to rebound or what. Or is my build helping me a little bit or what? Uh, I mean, it's on my husband rebounds only on silver. I do have a pretty good vertical, but I'm short. So I'm 6'11". They have the height advantage. They have the box height advantage. 
and they still can't get rebounds over me. So if a team can't get can't get rebounds and I'm getting hella offensive rebounds, it's gonna be hard for you to beat us, bro. Because the wings I usually play with play good defense, so they're forcing misses. If they miss on offense, I have the offensive rebound. It's gonna be tough because we're gonna have so many chances, bro. And those second chance points are so defeating when you're the one giving those up. Like that shit hurts. That shit. You're like, damn, I just stopped. It's hard to stop team, and they they scoring. Man, this nigga just. I, 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 I got a Alaskan animation on his ass right there. I don't even boost my rebounding. Because I always feel like when I... Every time I've tried to boost in any 2K, I felt like it just made me play more con, like conservative, which is kind of bad because I just got another steal. Like, why would you play more conservative if your player attributes are boosted? But it always made me feel like I didn't have to try as hard or I don't try, like... I had an argument with guys about 2K today. That's some tryhards. I only like calling people tryhards when they're good at the game because, I mean, you're just good at the game, just good at the game. It shouldn't take any effort. It doesn't take me as much effort to play in 2K. I was watching the game, the uh, finals game, game six, Raptors and Warriors, simultaneously while playing. Not this team, but a really, really good team in the game. And they kept calling me tryhard. I was like, bro, like, I'm literally like, I got my phone because I was screaming on my phone. Obviously, I can't watch it on my TV if I'm playing the game. Screaming the game on my phone and, uh, Watching, yeah, and playing the game at the same time. Wasn't even focused on the game and literally was playing one of the best games I've had in the park in a long time. It's just second nature. Basketball is... Look at that good defense, though. Shot clock went down. I got there and blocked this shit. I wish I had more time in the video because I was going to explain to y'all about, you know, Toronto is my favorite team. I know it's hard to believe that knowing that they just got to the finals and I all probably think I'm a bandwagon or something. But Toronto has been my favorite team for God. For how, I don't know how long, dog. It's been, that's my favorite team for a long time. I, I'll be on here talking all day about how, about how I became a fan of the Toronto Raptors. I feel so bad for DeMar DeRozan. I feel so bad for him. But every true Raptors fan, every true one out of there loves DeMar DeRozan, knowing like for a fact that he is one of the main reasons why this team has been brought from obscurity. He has done so much for that team, bro. Like, you can, he was the centerpiece of the Kawhi trade. That's how you got Kawhi. If he wasn't valuable enough to get Kawhi, then it wouldn't be Kawhi there. So my hat goes off to DeMar DeRozan, bro. So many so many records in Toronto, so many good years. You can't just – I'll be here talking all day. You can't just disregard that. But congratulations to my Toronto Raptors, bro, winning the 2019 NBA championship. I just went all off subject, but I just had to throw it in there. But as y'all can see, bro, we locking them up. It's 19 to 4. Destroy this lineup, man. You cannot. You got to have some type of score with it, bro. You can get toxic and probably beat up on amateurs and stuff with this lineup. But you got to have some score. I got kind of frustrated right there. See my ass. I don't know what made me press square and go up with the dumbass shot. But Lou was kind of just. <laughs> he went into straight Kobe mode, bro. He was jacking that bitch. He was like J.R. Smith out of that bitch. So I had just went ahead and you see I had flopped on the shot and all. I had went ahead and just tried to do my thing and just throw some shit up because I was getting sick of it. And I just, yeah. Oh, man. But this is just like us exposing the toxic lineup. I hope y'all like the video. This is my 100th video, by the way. I was going to make a special. It's going to be weird because I'm going to make a special video, 100 video special after this, but it's going to be my 101st video. But this is my 100th video, guys. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I love you all. I really love y'all, bro. Thank y'all for supporting and watching my channel. Like, this means a lot to me. Even though I don't have that many subscribers or views all the time, this means everything. But I'll see y'all guys in the next one. Peace.